Hi there, I'm Lukas with House Devices. I'd like to show you our three new modules we're showcasing at uh, Super Bowl 25. The first and the newest is a pairing of Oradea and Arad. Uh, Arad is an expander for Oradea and what Oradea does is it's a four uh, channel resonator. It's a quad resonator. Uh, let's have a listen. Now we hear a, a simple sequence from Odessa and now we hear the same sequence sent through Oradea uh, but now the channels are static the frequencies are static uh, let's uh, sequence them with the same uh, sequence that sequencing Odessa uh, um, Oh yeah, there, as I said, is a quadruple resonator, so it's got four channels with identical controls. Uh, the frequency, it covers the whole audible range. The peaking, the resonance, from, very, from low to very high, and, and the levels, individual levels as well. Uh, uh, you can use it to process uh, signals, um, or you can use it uh, as a sound source as well. Uh, let's try the second option and I will talk to you about uh, some details. Uh, as with all resonators, you can uh, ping it via the uh, audio input, but you don't have to use it. You can use the uh, Excite inputs. Each channel has its own Excite input which produces a finely tuned uniform uh, signal uh, best for exciting each channel of Oradea. So now you can, you can ping it with any trigger or gate from your sequencer from a uh, an LFO or a uh, clock sequencer. As I said, each channel has the same set of controls, the frequency, the resonance and the level. Each channel has the same set of uh, CV inputs. You can excite them individually. You can uh, sequence them individually as well. Uh, let's say we want to sequence this one. but the others remain static. You can uh, excite them individually. You can use uh, individual channel output from A to D. Uh, you can use the sum output as well. You've got uh, individual inputs for the level and peaking control per channel as well, but also two inputs to control all resonance and all frequencies as the, at the same time as we did uh, with the uh, short Odessa sequence before. Uh, when you add uh, Arad to Oradea, you gain a uh, set of uh, four individual inputs, so you can uh, use each channel separately to process uh, four uh, signals. You uh, have um, uh, manual buttons for muting and unmuting the channels, clickless, of course. You've got uh, gate and trigger inputs for uh, muting and unmuting the channels uh, remotely, but also you've got four buttons for pinging. Yes, I turned them off so we can. So we can play it manually as well. Uh, Oradea is all analog. Uh, it's got a uh, multiple sophisticated circuits that take care of of the resonance so that it the uh, the resonance can be very very high but still not oscillate for which we needed to make the whole you know, module super super quiet uh, I'd like to show you our second newest module which is Samarkanda we showed it uh, a month or so ago it's a Quad digital quad delay with uh, performance-based, performance-oriented functions. 
It's got four in, uh, channels that are uh, almost uh, the same. Each one uh, features the uh, regular uh, delay effect control. That is the delay time, dry and wet, uh, feedback control, time, uh, CV input. You can sync it. You can hold the contents of the buffer. You can reverse it. You can uh, process the delayed signal externally by using the wet out uh, output and the feedback input. You can do everything externally as well with CV control over all parameters. Uh, the module has a very wide range of delay times going from half a millisecond up to 15 seconds per channel. So if you stack them, you can uh, make it a uh, mammoth 16, 60 uh, seconds delay. Where the magic happens is uh, with these performance uh, controls. There are switches, each channel features two, uh, two switches. One is for range from X1 when you, what you see on the panel is what you get up to uh, 150 milliseconds then times 10 and times 100 up to a 15 seconds delay uh, and you've got a switch for the behavior of the delay which is in the analog uh, mode it acts similarly to uh, bbd or tape delays uh, so you can you change the pitch by changing the uh, delay time, but in the digital mode, it doesn't change the pitch. It uh, just scrubs the internal buffer in a sort of granular, granular kind of way, which you can hear from the other channel here. Hopefully you can hear. Uh, you can link the channels with this button and now the whole, ch the whole four channels operate. You can operate them with uh, the controls of the first one. Uh, you can link two or three. You can uh, even have uh, three separately or, uh, and, uh, and a pair again. Uh, what's important about Samarkanda is that the, uh, there is a, a internal normalization of the input sound which is 100% uh, internal, so it doesn't leave the digital domain. So there's no, nothing going on. Uh, you don't have to go through a DAC and then ADS, ADC again to, to the input of the second channel, third and the fourth. So the signal is passed on uh, uh, as pristine as it was input into the first channel. Mm, you can use Samarkanda as a uh, quad delay, as, uh, as two stereo delays, as flangers, as choruses, as a granular processor. And you can use it as a resonator in the uh, analog mode uh, by choosing the uh, shortest range. Uh, you can uh, sequence it uh, with a sequencer. It's ca uh, calibrated to Volper octave, so you can play it. You can use it as four resonators. You can scrub the audio input with a complex shape from Zada and make it uh, really, uh, make it into an instrument. Uh, it costs 620 euros and hopefully the second batch uh, also sells out because it's an awesome module. Thank you.